Milos is back. We're telling you where the former world number three plans to make his return. Novak Djokovic and Cam Norrie's encore drama spills into the press room. We show you what Novak had to say about the Brit. Plus, quarterfinal action continues. We look ahead to Wednesday at the Italian Open. The break starts now. What's up everyone, I'm Johnny Ray Diaz. You're watching The Break. A series of injuries has kept Canadian Milos Raonic away from the game since July of 2021. Now that appearance was in Atlanta and Raonic was playing his first match in four months due to a thigh issue. Now shortly after that, an Achilles injury and a broken toe after a weight room accident took him away from the tour. But just this morning, Milos' name appeared on the entry list for the La Bema Open and S. Hertagenbosch an ATP 250 event. The grass tournament takes place from June 12th to the 18th and is a popular tune-up event for Wimbledon. Now, Milis used his protected ranking to enter the tournament. Raonic has found success on the grass, making three finals on the surface, including Wimbledon in 2016. All eight of his career titles are on hard court, though. At just 32 years old, Milos still has some time to grab some big results before retiring. So we can't wait to see him back on the court. We all saw this moment, right? The overhead heard around the world had us all asking if this shot was fair game. Cam Nori apologized and we got a great death stare from Novak. But did the two men leave the drama on the court? Now Djokovic eventually won the match, sealing it with an icy handshake. Now here's what Novak had to say in the press room following the encounter with Nori. He was doing all the things that were allowed. He's allowed to take a medical time out. He's allowed to hit the player. He's allowed to say, come on in the face, uh, you know, more or less every single point from the from basically first game. But, you know, those are the things that we players uh, know that in the locker room, that's, it's not a fair play. And Novak is slated to face Holger Rune in the quarterfinals. That match should be completely drama free, right? Well, after rain delays, slow the schedule. We're filing to the quarterfinal stage in Rome. Let's look ahead to Wednesday's matches. Iga Schwantek and Elena Rabakina will play each other for the third time this year. Rabakina has won their last two matches in straight sets, and this is the first time meeting on clay, though. Our other women's quarterfinal Wednesday will feature Yelena Ostapenko taking on Paula Badosa. The men's draw has Novak Djokovic facing Holger Rune. They played twice before, each grabbing a win. Kasparud will play Francisco Serendolo for a spot in the semifinals. The Argentine is coming off a huge win over hometown favorite Yannick Sinner in the round of 16. Kasparud hopes to equal his 2022 run to the Italian Open semifinals. Live coverage from the Italian Open begins daily at 5 a.m. Eastern Time on Tennis Channel. We'll see you guys tomorrow.